Welcome back to It's Not That Late with Liv Harrison. And as I promised, I have an incredible guest that is so famous, I can't believe that she carved out time <laughs> of her very busy schedule of um, going viral and doing um, all sorts of interviews. I refer to her as the Carrollton woman. It might be my favorite, <laughs> my favorite name for her. If you don't follow her career on E! News or possibly Good Morning America, I don't know what you've done with your life. I'm pretty sure Bruno Mars has asked her to be in his next um, video. And I think her answer is yes. Um, I am, of course, talking about oodles of doodles the most famous artist on the internet. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> you guys, is the, the one and only Allie Hoffman. Allie, Woo! if we had an Instagram Woo! audience, they'd be losing their minds. <laughs> that is what you deserve. You're oh, used to that. <laughs> that's amazing. That is sophisticated. Hello. Yo, hi, friend. How are you? I completely forgot that they called me so for people that are watching please i thought i thought the story would come better from you you got to bring them to the beginning though what are we even talking about why would anyone even put you on e-news why are you even viral take us from the beginning Allie. yes why would anyone want to put me on e-news that is the question of the day Um, okay so for people watching um or listening we've got our listeners yeah. Thank you. It's multimedia. Uh, multimedia. So proud of you. Um, I, my, like six years ago, my dad, there was a big ice storm in Texas and where I live in Dallas area. And um, my dad and I, we danced in our kitchen because we're like, this is how we handle like shut down <laughs> ice and all that stuff. And it went viral, which was crazy. Like, but tell uh, people, Tell the people what viral means. We don't mean viral like how I say I go viral all the time and I don't. I'm like, you guys, more than my husband liked my picture today. I'm a thing. I am viral. So when you say viral, you actually mean it in the in the Mark Zuckerberg way, like in the you mean it in the Tesla way. I don't know. Uh, big yeah, fancy I words. am Mark Zuckerberg. I am Elon Musk. Basically. Elon Musk. There we go. Yeah. yeah. So what does that mean? Viral. Mr. Branson, yeah, so, please explain to us. <laughs> so viral basically means like definition of a viral video is if you have seven million, no, five million views in seven days. And five this video million got views in seven five, days? Seven days, yes. And so this video six years ago got seven million views in five days. <gasps> and right now it has like 13, almost 14 million views. And that was six years ago. So it was just like, yeah, father, daughter, dance in our kitchen. I had no idea the response. Like, absolutely. Like, we just, we honestly just put it up on Facebook because we have a lot of family that live in Alaska and they always <laughs> make fun of us of like how us Texans deal with <laughs> the snow and the ice because, hello, we don't know what to do with it. So fast forward to last March. Everyone can remember where they were last March. What March happened in March 2020, Allie? What happened to the world? Um, (laughs) We had a world ice day that lasted for 18 months. (laughs) Exactly. And the whole, the world shut down. The world shut down. Ice day. Yes, forever. So we're like, okay, we're going to be in our houses. What do we do? We dance in this family. We dance. So my dad and I did another dance video with my mom. My mom makes an appearance. She did. And That's right. I think she's the reason why it went viral, honestly. Because That's fair. People love to watch mom's dance. Yeah. <laughs> and she's amazing. So think about that the next time, Liz, that you're in your I'm doing the wrong gigs. Why aren't you running my career? I, I could be a TikTok star. Move over, Allison Sullivan. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Here, this is what we want, right? Here, J-Lo. Uh, here's your next follow. <laughs> Exactly. Let me inspire you. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> so it like it would and this is crazy. Um in twenty four hours we got a million views. Less than 20, like twelve hours, we got a million views. And now it's again at like almost fourteen million. And um Wow. It, it I think it had a, a bigger impact reach because it was uh, everyone was feeling this like anxiety unsure like what is going on in the world what is the corona and we didn't really know like covid like what was it going to be like like is it as intense as people are saying and it's just like 
so many things. And so I, there were like a lot of conversations that my dad and I had and like people and people on the internet, what they were sharing with us was like just a moment of, okay, the world is crazy and there's a lot of uncertainty. So can we just bring this one small moment of joy and laughter into this, into your life right now? And so I think it, it reached, like, it's so funny because it will, it will be really big in different pockets pockets of the world so I'll get a lot of messages from people in Switzerland and I'm like oh so it's going around Switzerland right now I'm like <laughs> a couple of weeks ago it was like the UK and it was like really big in the UK and I was like cool. that's fascinating uh, that it's still making the yeah. rounds do you think it has to do with seeing a daughter with her parents like do you think people are oh, enthralled by that yeah. whole situation because for people who don't know you and your dad Michael um, which I feel like I know him at this point, and it's a little creepy um, on my end. He's fine. <laughs> he doesn't follow me at all. <laughs> he doesn't even know I exist. I love you though. No, oh my, gosh. oh my gosh. But you guys, and I know you talk about this a lot, and I'm, you're probably tired of it, but I don't think you are because you really like your dad as much as you play on TV, liking your dad. <laughs> it's very real. I do. I really you guys have a really cool relationship. And what's what's really beautiful about it, Allie, is that He's a deacon, right? Is he still a deacon in the Catholic Church? No, no, no. no He's just a he speaker. Actually, he was um, discerning. He was discerning. He was, like, hey, call, he was discerning. He discerned out. So he just turned he out. Like, but how beautiful is that? Like he shared, you know what I mean? Like we got to see that, but he is a Catholic speaker. So he's yeah. not shy. <laughs> no. We don't know where no. you came from. Um, you, you're your right? daughter, your daughter's daughter. Did, what was that? Yeah, you're I your father's daughter. daughter. <laughs> <laughs> but together you guys put out this really great energy of like, not everybody knows that you guys are Catholic. Not everybody knows that you guys are Catholic speakers. Not everybody yeah. knows that you guys actually know what you're doing. People just see like, oh, this is cute. But it's kind of neat yeah. when you do know that. Do you know what I mean? That there's this other level, this other layer to it, because for everybody that's out in the world, they get to see this father daughter duo, which is fantastic. And mom, what was your mom's name? Michelle. Michelle. Michael and Michelle. Oh, forever. How cute are that's they? So cute. That's right? precious. But I love that on the Catholic side, we get to see two people who can come and talk about Jesus and come and talk about theology and and come. You talk about some pretty tough stuff, and I I know your dad doesn't shy away from the hard subjects and then you're dancing to Bruno Mars. Do you know what I mean? Then, yeah. I love it. <laughs> like, I think that that's so great. And I I'd love to hear you talk about what, if you've seen any reaction from the Catholic side yeah. with you guys. I mean, it, it's kind of fascinating too, because like you said, like we don't put it out there. Right. Like in those videos necessarily of we love Jesus <laughs> and let's throw it down your throat and shove, shove, you know, like, I, I think one thing that my parents taught me, and most people say, see this video, and they think, like, I want that relationship. But they just see, like, a snippet, like, a three-minute segment of our relationship. And what they don't see is the the years of hidden, behind-the-scenes relationship building that that is hard and messy and, like, learning how to trust, learning how to fight well, learning how to not get along, but then like reconciling and coming together. And so a lot of people don't see necessarily like what it means to be human in a love, loving space kind of thing. And so like with Nancy with my dad, like that reaction and that little joyful moment, it took time to learn, learning how to trust one another that I knew that I could be funny and goofy and silly and he would just join in instead of saying like, oh, dumb, I'd never do that, blah, blah, blah. But like, trusting that the love of my dad, like he loves me unconditionally, no matter who I am and that he gives me space and freedom to be, um, which I think is like so huge and so big. So um, yeah, I, I think like, especially now when people are asked like, what's the secret? Like whatever. And like, we can honestly say like, it's, it's so much more like Jesus is it. Like that is a secret, but it's so much more than just Jesus. It's like, living a life of joy and living a life of holiness and it's not necessarily like you're spitting latin and holy water and stuff but it's just like loving god loving people and living your life and so it's a really broad general kind of thing but like 
we each have personal relationships with Jesus and like we also love one another very well and we also there are hard moments of being human and all that fun stuff but it's just learning how to live life well with people that support and encourage and champion you yeah. and are with you even when it is hard and when you do mess up and you do mistakes make mistakes um so yeah I think like they're just really great examples of my own and my sibling's life of they, like, I remember growing up, they were always telling us, like, we want you to have this foundation of family, like your family's always behind you, always supporting you. But at the same time, we want you to go and to be who you were created to be with all the gifts and talents that you have um, to go and do and just so supportive of I mean, I quit my job last year with not really a plan. <laughs> and I was just like, I have this idea of like, and I so even now, it's almost a year later, I still don't know really what that is, but they are so supportive and like helping me figure out and helping me pray through and discern and encourage like my gifts and talents of like, what if you did this? What if you went this way? Instead of like, you have to do this, but like, you have to be practical. You have to, and that is a good thing. Like prudence is a good thing. Um, but yeah, to any, any parents that are listening, like it, it just makes a world of difference knowing that I have the support and like foundation of my family to just be a like a foundation landing spot right. where I can a soft place yeah. yeah no and it's yeah. really beautiful to watch and see and so that's why I've got to ask you this very hard-hitting journalistic question okay. how do you guys Perfect. choose the songs <laughs> 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 yeah, for I'm what so you're going that. to dance to i mean has this is where we're really getting into it ali i mean like it's really a part because you did secrets. bruno mars and then i don't know who sings the one that you released in uh, 2020 jess Glenn. okay Her name's jess Glenn. she's a uk artist um in england that's why they love and you in the uk <laughs> yeah that's maybe that's why jess if you're watching which obviously she is could be um we're big in the welcome. uk yeah really big just shooting right up there. Uh, yeah, Jess Flynn. Honestly, the only reason why we picked those songs is because what you see us doing in the kitchen, that's not like a, like a random, oh, we're just going to do it. Like, we're always dancing in our kitchen. We are always dancing, having fun. So really, we just pick songs that we like to dance to already. Um, and so it was like, that's the other thing. It's like, it wasn't like a stage and five, six, seven, eight, and go. Shoot. Like, it was just like a sneak peek into our daily lives of what we do already that now it wasn't choreographed it wasn't like a flash mob situation y'all didn't I cannot, know i cannot emphasize enough i love it how not choreographed <laughs> i'm not gonna lie <laughs> not choreographed at all. if no. you knew 14 we million people that. were watching you would have been like we would have done choreography <laughs> we would have yes. no no i, I think that's what made it fantastic yeah yes. no i love it my mom was like my mom was like at least like clean the counter, like just clean the kitchen, which I'm like, you're welcome, mom. You're welcome for that one tidbit. That okay. Was- <laughs> and I, I love that you haven't, uh, you, there's gotta be pressure. I'm sure you get asked constantly, when are you guys going to make another video? You know? And you're oh, like, yeah. you guys, we've gone viral twice. You know what I mean? Like, let's not press. I can see no. that could be a lot of pressure. You know, it could be difficult oh, yeah. To be like, I mean, I don't know, because you put something out there and what if it, it only has, you know, right. 20,000 views in 10 minutes? <laughs> right. Well, actually, we did do another video in December um, that I think it has like 500,000 views, which is still a lot. But like someone commented and they were like, oh, they're now they're just doing it for <gasps> like fame and stuff. And I'm like, OK, first of all, we don't get paid for this. Yeah, at right. All. Like, <laughs> and, and so I just replied. I was like, or like we want to bring people into this joy. And like, yep. I, I think it just shows again, like this is not some like, and people ask me all the time, how do you go viral? Like they want tips and tricks to it. I'm like, that's a great question. I have no idea. Right. Absolutely no idea. Like it's something that's done to you almost. Yeah. And so you just gotta like ride the tide and just be like, okay, here it is. And it's, and it's funny because it's, I mean, it doesn't really change you. It's not like we got like super rich off of that. So <laughs> You're not in Alexis. <laughs> yeah. That's not why no, you quit your job. Cool. Yeah. No, 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 no. No. So cool. So. Well, hey, if anybody's hiring uh, <laughs> and you need a kitchen dancer, we've got Allie. Uh, <laughs> I'm honored. A wedding. I mean, if you want me to be a professional <laughs> wedding guest, Still you would be a really good you all really would be. That's true. You know, uh, what I really want to segue into, though, is what I love is 
you guys have a goofiness. And it's really neat because you bring it into, I've seen you speak because we've done a conference together and uh, you came in, you were one of the speakers for me for my women's conference called Genius. And then we actually were together in DC and uh-huh. you were a speaker um, and yeah. I was the MC. And so I've gotten to see you talk more than once. And what I do love is that you don't leave your personality behind when you're talking about God or when you're talking about whatever Catholic truth you're slamming down, you know, mic dropping, you keep this goofy like space and you do it also really well on social media. So you're known on social media as oodles of doodles. Well, you're also known as Allie Hoffman, (laughs) but you have another account (laughs) Oodles of dudes. And, um, and, and that's where you, you know, you do calligraphy. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Am I saying this right? And you do Mm -hmm. like verses, you do, you know, all sorts of beautiful things, but then you'll come out with like a mustache, (laughs) like filter for Instagram or tiny hands, or, I mean, you just... (laughs) It's so great. I love that you're like, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want tiny hands. <laughs> tiny hands. It's like, yes, ah, yes, yes. <laughs> We're singing in the car. Yes. Like, tell me how this came to be. How have you given yourself permission to be extraordinary in that silly space? How about that? And that, ooh, girl, you're good. Um, I honestly, I... There's a, there's some holy person, some saint that said basically like God, like keep me away from some, from sad Christians or like some, from not happy Christians or something like that. Like I really view my life as I'm a naturally, I'm an optimistic person. That's just like my personality. I'm a naturally like positive person. I see, I just see the goodness in the world. And, and like, I know there's like not that doesn't mean I don't suffer or have trials or whatever, but like just my natural personality is that. And so, especially when it comes to my faith life, um, man, I just think so many and experience, I think, the goodness and kindness of the Lord that it's just like it's a gift, it's a fruit of the Holy Spirit. Like, joy is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. And so, I, I think like the Lord is giving me like this supernatural gift of joy that it's not just hey, you just see all the good in life. But it's like, I think it's like really a fruit, particularly given to me in this moment, in this time in history, um, to not take myself so seriously, um, to recognize like the joy of the Lord. And there's this really great quote that I was actually praying with yesterday in prayer um, that I have my prayer journal. That <laughs> oh, look at you. <laughs> yeah. I love it. it. Like, I know. Here we go. Um. It like totally, it rocked my world. Um, and like, I think this is the epitome of my life. And it says that joy is the flag that flies over the castle of our heart, announcing that the king is in residence today. Ooh. Um, I don't know who said that. It was in, like, <laughs> it was in a book Liv that I read. Harrison. No, yeah, sorry. Liv Harrison. <laughs> Send this. You have one of those quote posts, please. Yes. Flash it up there, JW. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Take yeah. it from my book. I don't have a book. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, and so I really think it's just like, like this positivity and like this, like goofiness. Like I don't take myself too seriously. Like I, like even in my faith life, like, like there are things like I've experienced great doubt. I've experienced great, like I struggle right even now with anxiety and depression. And most people are just like, how oh, you're so goofy and happy. And I'm like, it's not like it's, you know, I'm sure it's experiencing mental health, like it's an up and down kind of thing. But like, I just honestly believe that this is just a fruit of the Holy Spirit in my life of joy. Um, that is something that is deeper than I'm just happy. And actually, a couple of years ago, there was someone that was, uh, we were praying together. And this title, the Holy Spirit, just like, in this prayer, he kept, I kept hearing these words over and over again. And the title was Warrior of Joy. And at first, I was like, what does that even mean kind of thing but I'm realizing now and now like especially You're living in 2021 yeah. as a Catholic as a Christian like you have to kind of fight for joy and it's really easy to to go more on the pessimistic side which is not a bad thing but it's really easy like I was just thinking about this the other day if you're trying to bond with someone or like trying to um connect 
usually the first thing that we do is we talk about how miserable we are or how tired we are or how bad the weather is. Or we kind of can bond in like these negative things. And it's very easy to be like, oh, you hate that too? Well, let's just talk about it, which is not a bad thing. But I think that's just like a natural thing that people gravitate towards. Um, and so this warrior joy, it's almost like sometimes I have to fight to see the goodness and I have to fight to see like, fight for this joy because it's different than happiness because happiness is an emotion that can come and go but joy is just something that is very deeply planted into my heart to my soul that I sometimes have to fight for and it's not like a toxic positivity where it's like nothing ever is bad and like blah blah like no I suffer from anxiety and depression and like yeah it's sometimes it's hard to get out of bed in the morning right but I but I, I honestly believe like this, like it's just something that this worry of joy kind of mentality of just like, man, God is so good and so kind and so merciful. And if I can have this gift, like this supernatural gift, that it, it was a gift. It's not something that like I like, like earned or worked for or like I just have to climb up these next steps and then I get it. Like it's just, I think a gift given freely, like grace, um, that I really love sharing with other people. But you allow it to flow. You really do. That's where your permission, you know what I mean? Like you allow the mustache to go on your face and the tiny hands to go on your hands. Yeah, don't take don't take yourself too seriously. Like I love it. Are like whatever. Yeah, life is so short. It's so short. Have fun. Fun. Have the curly exactly. hair, have the, you know, get out bangs. there, get bangs. Listen, That's did you, sure. I got to know, did you make this mustache filter? Did did you, oh. you didn't make it up? No, I did not. But isn't it, doesn't it look like if I stopped waxing, that's what I would look like. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want that bad. Maybe I should stop and like just see what happens. I'm not <laughs> I did not make that. I thought you made this filter and I was all ready to ask you, how does one make a filter for Instagram? We don't know. (laughs) That is, we're not going to get that answer today. There are some secrets that are just never meant to be known. And um, (laughs) the mustache filter is one of them. It does look good on you. I've got, you kind of have a Mandy Patinkin thing going on from (laughs) from the princess bride. I think it's like you got it's beautiful. He's a beautiful he's so beautiful in in Princess Bride. Yeah, cuz he's got the mustache in that movie. He does. Yeah. I, yeah, I've gotten so many comments of like Ali, I know this is like this is a joke. Haha, so true. But honestly, it was kind of Edmund, But honestly, our, Edmund, he's yeah. like I can't stand it. Cannot stand it. I'm like, well, I'm going to do it even more then. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you walk in every day to the office with Edmund with a mustache on. That's all I ever want to see. In fact, I'm kind of, I'm kind of upset that you're not wearing one. Maybe whenever we come back, you can have (laughs) a mustache on. What I want though, is I really want to learn how to doodle. I have no artistic abilities at all. I have none in my throat. I can't sing. I have none in my hands. I can't draw. I literally have no gifts and talents. Everything I'm good at is really not useful. Like, for instance, I can tell you what book to read for the summer, but then ask me if I read. No, no, I do not. But I'm really good at telling people what to read. Isn't that weird? That's it. I've peaked. I love that. This is well, it's it's strange. So I want you to teach me how to draw because I know sometimes you do these classes. Would you do that when we come back? Would that be something you're prepared for? Okay, I don't want anybody to go anywhere. If you're listening or if you're watching, you guys, you're tuned into It's Not That Late with Liv Harrison.